Hey guys, Jeremy here with KISS Aquatic Systems. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. In today's video, I thought I'd introduce the latest addition to my ultra low tech nano reef tank, which is this extremely bloodthirsty and murderous wall hammer coral that you can see back here on the left. I believe I said last month uh, on my two year anniversary video for this tank that I wasn't going to add any more corals, but I clearly lied. Not really my fault, actually. One of the fish stores where I've gotten a number of my corals from, they're not closing down, but they're changing locations. They're actually growing their store, which good news for me is they were doing some crazy sick deals uh, to clear out some excess inventory before the move. So I was able to pick up this hammer coral here for, I think it was $42. And this is a pretty big coral. This is about a, a six inch hammer coral. Uh, it's not the prettiest or most exciting of hammer corals out there. Uh, it's not one of those really colorful, bright two tone hammers. And it is a wall hammer, which is generally less popular, slower grower, harder to frag, a little less hardy, but I, I really like it. And I think it works well in this part of the tank. The, the problem is it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was when I got it. And it's uh, kind of mean, actually, a uh, little bloodthirsty. So you can see the sweeper tentacles. Well, not really sweeper tentacles, but you know, you can think of them as sweeper tentacles coming out in the back. And uh, this is what the tank looks like today. I'm gonna go back in time a week and show you some damage that this hammer caused. Yeah, so here we go. This was a week ago. I woke up to this. Uh, sweepers, or really just sweeper-like tentacles, just out there in the back, uh, out for blood. And unfortunately, it looks like my cephastria, my orange cephastria to the left, uh, got hit. So you can see the cephastria has a, a small white dead spot right there. So when I was placing this coral... I sort of have it situated in the flow where, where the power head is directly above and to the left. So the longer tentacles should, for the most part, flow backwards and upwards, which is what they're kind of doing here. But uh, I guess there was a stray tentacle, which honestly, for a few seconds, made contact with uh, the cephastria and took out a pretty big chunk, actually, of that coral in that one location. So the cephastria is actually not looking that unhappy, the, the polyps are all out, but we're gonna go ahead and move both of these corals uh, because I really don't don't like seeing any of my corals get stung or, or, or damaged anyway. So here we go. First, we're gonna move the hammer. Not much, honestly. I just wanna re-angle it a little bit so the back of the coral is, is facing more it is gonna is gonna based on the flow direct the tentacles upwards and backwards a little bit better than it has been, and again at, at this point those tentacles are still a little bit out of reach of the coral behind it, which is an acan. So here we go. You can see those uh, those tentacles now. Uh, this coral actually really doesn't want to retract, so I have to be pretty careful not to not to bang it around too much. Yeah, really nice coral. I actually thought it was smaller when I got it. It looked a lot smaller in the store uh, under lower light, lower flow conditions than it's getting now. So I thought, okay, this is going to be, it was maybe a four inch coral at the store. It's going to be a three inch coral in my tank, have plenty of space. Uh, clearly not. It's probably three, four inches right now. And when it's fully extended, it's probably about six inches long and, and maybe three inches wide. So a bit of a bigger coral than I'm thrilled about and comfortable with in this tank, in this location. Ultimately, I will be rehoming all of these corals to a larger tank, but uh, hopefully this guy doesn't cause any more damage. I suspect it probably will, to be honest, but yeah, hopefully we'll get through the next call it six months to a year uh, before I upgrade this tank.
So, here we go. Everyone's been moved. Yes, I use gloves. Call me a sissy if you want, that's fine. Sissies don't get stung. So here we go. We're gonna fast forward. That was a week ago to today. As you can see, uh, everyone is happy. The hammer is just as murderous and bloodthirsty as it ever was. The sweepers or the longer tentacles out back are, are still extended, but definitely get more clearance away from that Zephastria. And as you can see, they're nowhere near the uh, the Acan. Uh, the tentacles do go out a bit longer than this, but not that much longer. So we're still good back there. Uh, and the Zephastria, you can still sort of see where it got stung, but the it's no longer exposed skeleton. It's just, uh, it's re-encrusted over the dead part and uh, continuing to be in fairly good spirits. So there we go. Now let's... Uh, do a quick tour of the rest of the tank. Take a look at everybody else. Yeah, actually, uh, before I got that hammer, uh, you can see coming into the screen now what used to be my most bloodthirsty and murderous coral. It's this guy in the back in his little cave. Still pretty bloodthirsty, but I think the hammer takes the cake. So... Yep, there we go. Everyone else is doing well. One thing I did do while I was watching the footage of this video is I realized that uh, some of my, my red macros were shading out some of the corals a little bit on that side. So I did have to go in and prune them back a bit, which I'm not thrilled about. I like them a lot, but, you know, the corals do come first. Yeah, that hammer. That is a happy hammer. But yeah, otherwise the tank is fine. Uh, everyone else is is doing okay. So yeah, thanks guys. That's all for now. Just wanted to uh, update you all and show you all my, my new coral. Not really new. I've had it for a month now. But uh, I think it really rounds out that side of the tank. We always had tentacles and movement on the right side of the tank with those corals down there and the macros up here. So the right side of the tank, plenty of color, plenty of movement, plenty of action. So now I think the footprint overall is a bit more balanced, having that hammer in the left to add some movement and interest and um, some personality to the, to the left of the tank. So yeah, thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and happy reefing.